and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says integrate the following functions. Sin inverse root x minus cos inverse root x by sin inverse root x plus cos inverse root x. Let's now begin with the solution. In this question we have to find integral of sin inverse root x minus cos inverse root x by sin inverse root x plus cos inverse root x with respect to x. First of all, we should know that sin inverse root x plus cos inverse root x is equal to pi by 2. And sin inverse root x plus cos inverse root x equals to pi by 2 implies cos inverse root x is equal to pi by 2 minus sin inverse root x. Now by substituting pi by 2 in place of sin inverse root x plus cos inverse root x and pi by 2 minus sin inverse root x in place of cos inverse root x, we get integral sin inverse root x minus pi by 2 plus sin inverse root x by pi by 2 dx. This is equal to 2 by pi into integral 2 sin inverse root x minus pi by 2 dx. This is equal to 4 by pi into integral sin inverse root x dx minus integral dx. Now let i1 is equal to integral of sin inverse root x with respect to x. We will now put root x equals to t. Now root x equals to t implies x is equal to t square and this implies dx is equal to 2t into dt. So by substituting t in place of root x and 2t dt in place of dx we get i1 as integral 2 into sine inverse t into t dt. This is equal to 2 into integral of sine inverse t into t with respect to t. Now here we have product of two functions and we know that if u and v are two functions of t then integral of uv with respect to t is equal to u into integral of v with respect to t minus integral derivative of u with respect to t into integral of v with respect to t whole with respect to t. We choose the first function as the function which comes first in the word I let. Here we have algebraic function and trigonometric inverse function. According to Eilid, we choose first function as inverse trigonometric function. That means sine inverse t. 
So using this rule, this integral is equal to sine inverse t into integral of t with respect to t minus derivative of sine inverse t into integral of t with respect to t whole dt. This is equal to 2 into sine inverse t. We know that integral of x to the power n with respect to x is x to the power n plus 1 pi n plus 1 plus c. So using this formula, integral of t with respect to t is t squared by 2 minus integral derivative of sine inverse t is 1 by square root of 1 minus t square into integral of t dt is t square by 2 whole dt. Now this is equal to t square sine inverse t minus 2 into 1 by 2 into integral t square by square root of 1 minus t square with respect to t. And this is equal to t square sine inverse t minus integral t square by square root of 1 minus t square dt. And this is equal to t square sine inverse t minus integral. We are now going to add and subtract 1 in the numerator. So we have t square minus 1 plus 1 by square root of 1 minus t square dt. This is equal to t square sine inverse t minus integral t square minus 1 by square root of 1 minus t square minus integral 1 by square root of 1 minus t square dt. And this is equal to t square sine inverse t. Taking minus common from the numerator, we get plus 1 minus t square by square root of 1 minus t square dt minus integral 1 by square root of 1 minus t square with respect to t. Now this is equal to t square sine inverse t plus integral square root of 1 minus t square with respect to t minus integral 1 by square root of 1 minus t square dt. We know that integral of square root of a square minus x square with respect to x is equal to x into square root of a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a plus c and integral of 1 by square root of a square minus x square with respect to x is sine inverse x by a plus c. So using these formulae, we will now find both these integrals. So this is equal to t square sine inverse t plus now one can be written as one square. So we have one square minus t square and this is of the form a square minus x square. So using this formula, 
this integral is equal to t into square root of 1 minus t square by 2 plus 1 by 2 sine inverse t. Now, integral of this is equal to sine inverse t plus c1. This c1 is denoting the sum of all the constants of these integrals. Now, t is equal to root x. So, now we are going to replace t by root x. So, we have x into sine inverse root x plus root x into square root of 1 minus x by 2 plus 1 by 2 sine inverse root x minus sine inverse root x plus c1. This is equal to x minus 1 by 2 sine inverse root x plus root x into square root of 1 minus x by 2 plus c1. We know that integral sine inverse root x minus cos inverse root x by sine inverse root x plus cos inverse root x dx is equal to 4 by pi into integral sine inverse root x dx minus integral dx. We have found out that integral of sine inverse root x with respect to x is x minus 1 by 2 into sine inverse root x plus root x into square root of 1 minus x by 2 plus c1. So by substituting values we get 4 by pi into now x minus 1 by 2 can be written as 2x minus 1 by 2 into sine inverse root x plus root x into root 1 minus x by 2 plus c1 minus integral dx is x plus c2. Now this is equal to 2 into 2x minus 1 by pi sine inverse root x plus 2 by pi into root x into root 1 minus x minus x plus c where c is equal to c1 minus c2. Hence our required answer is 2 into 2x minus 1 pi pi into sine inverse root x plus 2 into root x into root 1 minus x pi pi minus x plus c. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.